Today's lesson is determine the operation to solve a word problem. Our learning target for today is I can determine whether a word problem is solved using addition or subtraction and write an equation using the three read strategy. So remember, you've been learning about addition and subtraction. Our word problems today are going to involve adding or subtracting. Remember that addition means we combine or put things together, making more, and subtraction is when we take from or take apart, making less. We're going to use a three read strategy to help us write an equation today for our word problems. The three read strategy is where we read the problem three times different ways to get information. Our first read we are going to think about what is the situation about. On the second read we're going to be looking at the quantities or how many of each thing we have in the problem. In the third read we're going to be thinking about possible mathematical questions that could be asked about the problem. So let's look at the first word problem. It says two bunnies sat on the grass. Three more bunnies hopped there. So in my first read, I'm thinking about what is the situation about? Well, the situation is about bunnies. And they're sitting on the grass and more bunnies join them. And then the second read, I'm going to read the problem for quantities. So I'm going to look back through the problem and look at the numbers of items in the problem. So in the first sentence, it says two bunnies sat on the grass. So I see two bunnies. So I'm just going to write two bunnies. And they're sitting on the grass. The next sentence says three more bunnies hopped there. So I have three more bunnies, three bunnies. Now on the third read, I want to think about what could this question possibly be up under that black marker smudge? Because I've covered that question up so we can think about what questions could be asked. So maybe since we have two bunnies and more bunnies join them, maybe it's going to ask, how many bunnies are there now? Maybe it could ask how many in all? So let's look and see what the question says. It says how many bunnies are on the grass now? So that lets me know how many now, how many in all would be addition. So I would write my equation, two bunnies plus three more hopped onto the grass. Let's look at another one. Five marbles are in the bag. Three are red and the rest are green. What is the situation about? Well, the situation is we have five marbles in a bag and they're different colors. What are the quantities? Let's look back through. There are five marbles in the bag. Three are red. And the rest are green. So I don't have a quantity there. So it looks like I need to find a quantity. So I have five in all. Three are red. And then I need to figure out how many are green? So I just kind of thought about that in my head. How many are green? How many are left? that are not red. So what does that make me think about? Let me look at the question. How many marbles are green? 
So if I have five in all, and three of those are red, but I need to figure out how many are green, I would use subtraction. So I would say five minus three, and that will tell me how many are green. So that's the equation I would write. One last problem together. Some apples were on the table. I ate two apples, then there were three apples. So think about that just a second on your own. What is the situation about? What are the quantities? What are the possible questions? So we have apples on a table. And it doesn't tell us how many. And then we have somebody coming along and two were eaten. Then there were three left. So let's look at our quantities. Some apples, we don't really know how many that is. We ate two apples, so we have two apples. And then three apples left. So I need to figure out what is this number? So let's think, what could the question possibly ask? Could it ask me how many apples were there to begin with? Could I figure that out? Let's look and see. How many apples were on the table before? So in order to figure that out, I would write an equation and I would look at my quantities. So if I had three apples left and I add what I ate, so two of them were eight, it will tell me how many apples there were before. So when you are looking at word problems, remember, you can determine whether a problem is solved using addition or subtraction and write an equation using the three read strategy. So now you get to try some. It is your turn. Remember, if you have any trouble at all, you can always go back and watch this video and pause it along the way, and you always have your teacher available to help you.